Hi friends, today we're gonna read Lady Pancake and Sir French, to Sir French Toast, The Case of the Stinky Stench. Okay, back in the kitchen and deep in the fridge, past Trifle Tower across Taco Bridge, on a vacation at Marshmallow Coast sat Lady Pancake beside Sir French Toast. Knocking down syrup from northern Vermont, over a bridge came Inspector Croissant. Uncle Croissant said, the fridge is in trouble. A horrible stench turned a whole shelf to rubble. I'm the last hope or the fridge will be lost. Help me or else we'll be cooked, served, and sauced. Odors began wafting by, as French toast replied, I will certainly try. I've got to succeed, said Croissant with a sob. I've solved zero cases since getting this job. It's Baron Von Waffle, that devious square, said Pancake with anger. Let's head to his lair. They, searched, they started their search crossing Salsa Ravine and lumbered through smog around Mount Everbean. Slowly they crept to the Onion Ring Cave. Baron Van Waffle, said Toast. You old, you old knave. What are you doing here, Waffle said, sneering. I'm slithering, Croissant said. Are you interfering? What do you know about smells that are vicious? Nothing, said Waffle. My home smells delicious. Nephew, said Toast. Waffle's right. It smells splendid. The trio trudged out, but the case hadn't ended. It's the smell's getting worse, said Croissant with a shiver as Tater Tots stumbled through Applesauce River. An oak an okra popped out of a red curry dish and said, there's a tale of a stinky red fish who lurks at the bottom of Corn Chowder Lake. Great, said Cro Croissant as he tripped by Miss Steak. Rowing their fastest with carrot stick oars, they studied the depths and, and scanned all the shores. Ahoy, said Croissant, a red herring right there. At last they'll unravel this stinky affair. They paddled on forward as best as they, as the boat, but as the boat neared, the flavorful smoky aroma appeared. It seemed the red herring was just a bad clue. Dejected, the three didn't know what to do. It's time to give up, Pancake said with remorse. No, said Croissant, I'll discover the source. Inspector Croissant took a mighty big whiff. The odor is coming from Casserole Cliff. Peppers lay slump, slumping and apples were dented. Plumps shrank to plums and the beans had fermented. That's when they saw it, the source of their woe. A moldy old fruitcake from eight months ago. Someone destroy him, said Pancake right now. Sure, replied Toast, but I can't fathom how. The fruitcake just covered alone, looked scared. Life isn't all a bowl of cherries, he shared. I entered the fridge and then soon was forgotten. Slowly I crumbled and now I'm just rotten. This is my case, said Croissant, I'll prevail. Everyone knows fruitcakes never go stale. How would, you, how would you like being left to decay? There is no villain, let's help him make way. Together they journeyed past Cliff Lake and Cave and offered the fruitcake a shower and a shave. Soon the old fruitcake was fresh as could be. What's that delect delectable smell? asked Miss Bree. With all the nasty odors destroyed and dissolved, the team celebrated and shouted, case solved. Ooh. Hope you liked the book. Bye, friends.